Wow, you guys sell every kind of meat here except human. We have looked at some odd-sounding menu items from our favorite fast food chains. Some that fall into the delicious category and others that definitely do not. After that first video, you guys let us know some other items that were odd enough to make the list. So we listened and are counting down the 10 times fast food went too far, part two. Batter up! Red Robin Ramen Burger. Are you cooking in your car? I am. The chefs down at Red Robin came to work one day with this brilliant idea. Why don't we make hamburgers with ramen noodles for buns? Though this idea may seem very weird to most, the burger actually reviewed quite well. It might not have been the most necessary thing to have ever been made by a fast food chain, but at least this over-the-top item tasted good. The Red Robin ramen burger is exactly what you might think, a hamburger that is between two buns made of ramen noodles. The noodles were cooked and then mixed with a bit of egg to hold it together. It then gets compressed into a sort of bun shape and grilled on both sides to give it a bit of crunch. The bun isn't the only thing that made this hamburger special, though. If it was, it would actually be pretty boring. Boring! Red Robin included some special flavorings, too, which made it stand out more and, according to a lot of reviews, was the reason that this hamburger was actually good. This limited time menu item included a teriyaki and chuzao aioli, fried jalapenos, and some chili-infused shredded cabbage, carrot, and onion on top. Though this menu item was not exactly something people had been begging for, and the buns lost integrity quickly and became a mess of noodles, it actually went over pretty well with a lot of customers, thanks to the flavors of everything else on the hamburger. I can't believe Randy Quaid gets to eat like this every day. Pizza Hut Hot Dog Bites Pizza. <laughs> Pizza is a very popular food item, and over the years it has grown and evolved and become something completely different than it was in the beginning. Some of these evolutions have been fantastic, but some of them have just been downright weird. Pizza Hut is one of the leading makers of fast food pizza, and apparently a few people who work in their test kitchens have some strange ideas of what pizza crust should be like. Pizza Hut introduced the Hot Dog Bites pizza crust back in June of 2015, and media picked up on this idea quickly, leaving a trail of mixed reviews use in its wake. Honey, I wouldn't talk about taste. Needless to say, there wasn't a huge demand for hot dogs and the crust of pizza before Pizza Hut came up with this gimmick. A lot of the bad reviews of this Pizza Hut menu item talked about the grease content, which everyone expects when they order a pizza from the fast food chain anyways, but according to multiple reviews, the hot dog bites crust only added to that gross feeling you get when you know you made a mistake eating that greasy piece of pizza. Whether or not you liked the fact that you could eat a pizza and hot dogs at the same time, this menu item isn't something that ever needed to see the light of day. <laughs> Papa John's Frito Chili Cheese Pizza I'm having a relationship with my pizza. Papa John's isn't the first pizza place to come out with strange pizza toppings, and they most certainly won't be the last. Many fast food places are testing the boundaries when it comes to what people will eat on their food, and sometimes the strangest items are the ones that actually go over well with customers. The Frito Chili Cheese Pizza from Papa John's is one of those that fell sort of in the middle with reviewers and customers, with people saying that it was pretty good for the first few bites, and then it was just kind of boring after that. There was nothing particularly exciting to make you want to eat this pizza over and over again. Pizza the Hut! This isn't one of the craziest pizza toppings to ever exist. It's basically like an already existing dish called a Frito pie, but it definitely wasn't really something that needed to be made. The Papa John's Frito Chili Cheese Pizza was nothing super special, and the sales numbers show that. It was just sort of a basic pizza flavor profile. This isn't the most over-the-top menu item on our list by any means, and it didn't take things too far in the usual sense, but it wasn't something that there was much of a market for, as the pizza restaurant learned with the mediocre reviews. You're Delicious. Carl's Jr. Double Loaded Omelette Biscuit Omelette fromage. This wasn't exactly a fully brand new menu item for Carl's Jr. when it was released. It was a previously existing menu item that the restaurant then decided to double up on, as if it wasn't enough to have just one option for the same sandwich on the menu. It was a mess of a menu item, and that is meant literally. The large amounts of cheese contained in this breakfast sandwich oozes out the sides and gets everywhere while you try to eat it. There's no real reason that Carl's Jr. needed to add this item to the menu. If people really wanted to double up on their loaded omelet biscuits, they could have just ordered two of them on their own. This stack of eggs, cheese, breakfast sausage, ham, and bacon is probably not the best idea for breakfast. 
Sausage McMuffin. Though the idea of fresh made biscuits sounds nice, the three different meats and three different cheeses piled on this sandwich are excessive and unbalanced. This item reviewed as average, with most complaints being how messy it is, and the fact that even though there are three different types of meat involved, they are mostly concentrated around the edge of the sandwich, leaving the middle of it sort of plain. All in all, though this menu item wasn't something new for Carl's Jr., it wasn't something that needed to be added on the menu as a separate item. Hi, I'd like some breakfast. Sonic Chocolate Jalapeno Shake. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. If you've ever had a craving for a milkshake, you probably weren't sitting there thinking about a milkshake that involved both chocolate and something spicy, let alone jalapeno peppers. Though someone over at Sonic apparently was. This menu item seems like something that you would get if you let a small child mix you a drink out of whatever they could find in the fridge. Initially, promo images showed the milkshake containing small, chopped up pieces of the pepper mixed in with the chocolate shake. But customers reported reported that the real menu item was in fact just a chocolate shake with some rather large pieces of jalapeno in it. Say hello to my little friend. As if the idea of the milkshake alone wasn't enough to make you not want to try it, just imagine trying to enjoy the milkshake and getting a large piece of jalapeno pepper caught in your straw. That should be an image that would turn most people away from ordering this specific menu item. Consumers reported that you didn't really get the real flavor of the milkshake until you mashed your straw around a bit to get the jalapeno pepper juices to really mix with the chocolate. The combination of tastes did not go well, with most reviews of the drink being negative. It seemed like the jalapeno and chocolate flavor combination was not something that the average consumer enjoyed. You need a very unique sense of taste to enjoy something like the Sonic Chocolate Jalapeno Shake. I drink your milkshake. Burger King Mac and Cheetos. We learned one thing today, Cheese, it's that cheerleaders and high explosives don't mix. What's better than good old-fashioned mac and cheese? Most mac and cheese lovers would say nothing. According to Burger King, though, deep-fried mac and cheese-inspired Cheetos bites are. Considered widely as one of the most popular comfort foods, mac and cheese has been a household staple for a very long time. So when Burger King decided to add a menu item to their lineup that included this quick and easy favorite, it was hard to imagine that they could somehow ruin it. Against all odds, Burger King managed to wreck this noodle and cheese filled dish by throwing it in the deep fryer and coating it in Cheetos flavoring. Surprisingly, Burger King wasn't the first or only restaurant to do something along these lines. Despite the absolute train wreck that Mac and Cheetos were, they actually sold out fairly quickly. They were a popular item among their customers. Macaroni and cheese. Hey, you know what I like! <laughs> Though they sold well, the snack items weren't pleasing to everyone. Reviews from media outlets, as well as blind taste tests conducted by several sources, indicated that half the people who tried them disliked the mac and cheese bites. Though this item had mixed reviews, enough people seemed to like it that when they were first introduced by Burger King in 2016, every location that offered them was sold out within the first few weeks of launch. If this unnecessary menu item piques your interest, you're in luck. Burger King has brought this item back twice since the initial launch, so they may just come around again. Okay. Dunkin' Donuts Glazed Donut Breakfast Sandwich. Sir! I'm gonna have to ask you to exit the donut. Breakfast sandwiches are a popular item, an easy way to eat breakfast on the go. It includes all of the delicious items most people love about breakfast. Eggs, bacon, and in this case, donuts. If you were to ask most nutrition experts, they would tell you all the things you should have in the morning to equal a balanced breakfast, and they wouldn't include a glazed donut in their list. But Dunkin' Donuts would have to disagree. The Dunkin' Donuts glazed breakfast sandwich adds the sugary fried dough to your morning. There's no surprise with this item. It's exactly exactly what it sounds like. A regular breakfast sandwich with a glazed donut cut in half and used as the bread. Don't do this. No. No. This isn't some revolutionary item. It's been done before, but never really on a larger scale at a well-known fast food restaurant. It would be an easy enough dish to make at home if you really wanted to try them, or if you really like to combine eggs and donuts. It wasn't a very revolutionary or gimmicky menu item for Dunkin' Donuts to add. Though this sandwich probably tasted all right, most doctors or generally health-conscious people would never suggest that you should have a donut or two for breakfast. The Dunkin' Donuts glazed donut breakfast sandwich wasn't ever something that the public needed access to. And as it adds no real nutritional value to your breakfast, I would suggest just skipping the glazed donut. Donuts. Is there anything they can't do? Domino's Specialty Chicken. Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. 
The name specialty chicken suggests that it would just be some new flavor of chicken wings or a new take on chicken nuggets. But instead of keeping it simple like that, Domino's decided to create a monstrosity that no one really asked for. Though you have to give them credit for coming up with a way to make a chicken-based dish that is so simple and yet so off-putting. This menu item sounds like something they decided to add just because they can add whatever they want to the menu, and for no other reason than that. Put simply, the Domino's specialty chicken consists of some chicken tenders, cheese melted on top of it, along with various ingredients and some sauce. The whole thing just looks like a dish that was dropped on the floor and hastily scraped back onto the plate and served while the waiter pretends like it wasn't dropped and it's supposed to look like that. How intelligent do you have to be to take a food order? It's a mess of a dish, but despite its looks, a lot of reviews said it tasted all right. Reviews state that the sauces were pretty bland and the cheese at the bottom of the box was burnt to a crisp, but other than that, the chicken itself was what you would expect out of Domino's chicken, and the toppings were the same ones found on the pizzas already. All in all, this menu item seems like something that someone threw together hastily with the leftovers in their fridge and then charged you too much for it. You are sick! Is that what you paid for this jacket? Burger King Bacon Sunday. Oh boy, Sundays! Burger King seems to enjoy taking things that have already been done by other restaurants and rehashing them in their own locations. The Bacon Sunday is another thing that they weren't the first to offer, but they definitely should be the last. For most people, the idea of vanilla ice cream and bacon mixed together doesn't seem appealing. Not only did this limited time menu item include bacon and vanilla soft serve ice cream, but it also came with chocolate sauce and caramel sauce on it. Despite the fact that no one should have ever made or even thought of making, a Sunday with this many flavors, lots of people actually enjoyed this dessert. And come Sunday, bam, I rise from the dead. Some reviewers were disappointed with this Sunday, not because of the odd combination of ingredients involved, but because they thought that the ice cream was going to be bacon flavored as well. Even without the bacon flavored ice cream, the strips of bacon alone in this Sunday were enough to push it over the line from delicious ice cream treat to just completely over the top unnecessary. Come here, I'm gonna eat ya! Friendly's Grilled Cheeseburger Melt. I'm Stuck deciding between grilled cheese and a hamburger? This menu item solves that problem, combining both grilled cheese and a hamburger into one ridiculous sandwich that most people never asked for. Friendly's introduced this dish with absolutely no regard for the health of anyone who eats it. Packing a ridiculous number of calories and sodium, the grilled cheese burger melt is something that absolutely no one needs to consume in their lifetime. Can I have some of that sandwich? Though the combination of both grilled cheese and a hamburger sounds delicious, the reviews on it were mixed. Setting aside the dangers to your health, some people found that this hamburger wasn't that exciting. Simply just a hamburger with twice the bread and some extra cheese. It wasn't really something that all consumers were going to get a second time. This item wasn't really as popular as Friendly's probably hoped it would be. A lot of people were simply put off by the daunting amount of calories included in this sandwich, and it made headlines for a lot of the wrong reasons. Most media outlets reporting only on how outrageously bad for you the Friendly's grilled cheese burger melt was, which was not great marketing for the grilled cheeseburger melt. I'm just gonna use my spare glove compartment underwear as a napkin. Stick around and tap that screen to check out one of our other great videos. And if you're here for the first time, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. So go ahead and smack that subscribe button and ding that notification bell.